it's your girl Leah back again with another video in today's video as you can see from the title is another day in the life vlog now today is Friday December 4th it is 8 5 a.m. and typically I will be working I will be getting up and getting myself prepared for work but today is a little different I'm getting up and getting myself prepared to go get my hair done y'all see my hair is a hot mess my stylist is booked and busy child 2020 has been a prosperous year for her so I had to book a hair appointment on a Friday yes that means I had to like take a whole day off to get my hair done because I'm not just getting a normal blowout I'm getting color applied back to my hair I've been feeling a little lackluster with my styles lately you guys have been seeing black and black and black again and now I'm like I need to put some color 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 into my hair and maybe it'll make me feel more like revitalized while I'm wearing some of my styles so I'm getting my hair done today it's gonna be like a three hour process and so I decided I'll take you along on that journey with me because I get a lot of questions what color is your hair what color is your hair I'm gonna show y'all like if I can a box color of the hair and y'all can run out and tell y'all stylists because this isn't no cream of nature dark and lovely clear all type situation this is like she uses the good good stuff so I decided I'd take you along on this day I am about to take my shower get ready I need to like put this in hyper speed because my appointment is at 10 30 a.m. Um, she's in Noda. I have to drop Winnie off because I know the day is gonna be a long day so I'm gonna put her at daycare and I will actually, you know, take you guys along on this uh, very long day. I'm going to be in this stylist for a while. It's been a long time since I've been in a stylist uh, salon and I'm not excited about it. But I love Tony. She's good people. And it's going to be a good day. So I will take you guys along on that journey. Come with. So now I am in the car, it is 8.42 a.m. I got my Winnie right here beside me. She is going to daycare, gonna drop her off, and then took her on a good little romp. I'm probably gonna go eat after that because it's still early. Like I said, my appointment is at 10.30. I know I'm gonna be there for a while, so you gotta have something on your stomach before you go to these situations so you won't be sitting in that chair upset and hungry. So I just dropped her off at daycare. I'm gonna get a lot of questions or people who follow me on Instagram know I took her to daycare on Tuesday of this week as well and today is Friday as well. People are like, you so bougie taking your dog to daycare? No ma'am, no ma'am. This is probably her last time coming for the rest of the year quite honestly. I only take her when I have like a jam-packed day. So like Tuesday, jam-packed for me in terms of like presenting at work. Like if I have a lot of meetings at work, it's nothing. Like I can of course have her. But this was a meeting where I was presenting for a whole hour like me the the focal point of the meeting and I had a lot of other meetings like I scheduled a lot more that day since I knew I was wanting to get my money's worth out of daycare and same thing goes for today like she's a poodle so and she's eight months old she's high energy but my last dog I had for six years she ain't never seen the inside of no daycare because she was a senior dog you leave her at home you come back home six hours later she was in the same exact position Winnie will not thrive in that environment poodles you gotta just know they're high energy and again me being out of the house for probably a few hours today would not be bueno for her today so again if you follow me on instagram too you know the chronicles of her boyfriend here if i look on the cameras and see that that boyfriend is still here i'm going to definitely take this daycare off the list she was being so harassed here on tuesday by that dog and then i looked the rest of the week he was here every single day i forgot to look in today to see if he's here but i should have known he's a french bulldog so meaning his owners you know probably got the coin to bring him daily if needed so he's a regular here they even featured him on a photo like he look at little ronnie i'm like 
that little troublemaker. But I digress. I am about to go probably to Waffle House and eat a little something something. And it is now 9-11. So about an hour 20 until my appointment. So let me eat. Then I'm going to go to the salon. And then I'm going to brush my hair out. I brought my brush with me. Um, my hair is just taken out. I just took out my crochet braids. I didn't like brush through yet. Because if I did, my hair would be like one big poof ball and i'm not ready for y'all to see that yet i'm not ready for the streets to see that yet um so i'll do that typically in the parking lot of the salon quite honestly So now I am in the parking lot about to brush out my hair again. I just took out my last crochet hair and I just put it in a little ponytail because once I brush this out, it's game over. Like my hair will become a big, you'll see, you'll see. I'm in the parking deck of her salon. She is located in no die like I'm gonna probably get questions about what's her booking information right now I know she's not accepting any new clients but that might have just been because it was December and because child she books like crazy I miss the days when you could text your stylist the Thursday before whoop my camera's moving you could text your stylist the Thursday before and she would just be like okay y'all can get your Friday in. no problem ain't no problem come on in come on in now I tried to get in November November her books opened the 15th of the month prior so her November books opened October the 15th October 15th was the work day and at the assigned time I think she opens at 1 p.m. at the assigned time um, your girl had a meeting that she was hosting and sharing her screen so it wasn't even like oh it's a meeting I could just you know dip out you know and do this I was the host I had to talk somebody would notice it for five minutes I wasn't talking because I was booking an appointment so after the call I was like okay let me go on in and get my appointment child she was booked booked through November and I swear I wasn't even like I guess 2 30 when I checked again so I was like okay not gonna get in in November not gonna get in in November my birthday month is cool it's cool it's cool I'm gonna try again in November November 15th hit and that was actually a Sunday so November 15th hit for her December books to open I was ready I was sitting there with my credit card because you need to put a deposit on hand because girl Tony is big things now so I had my card in my hand I was literally like okay as soon as they open I'm be ready so as soon as they open I tried to get the this Saturday so tomorrow my original first date that I tried to get was tomorrow I booked it I put my number in by the time I hit submit <laughs> honey no honey no so I tried for the next Saturday I was like I'm gonna get in I'm gonna get in on Saturday all Saturdays got gone quickly so then I was like dang I gotta do a work day I gotta do a work day if I do a work day it's gonna have to be like a Friday and I was like I can just chalk it up to the fact that like I don't always have I don't know what her regulars do child if I was a regular I just be SOL child I just be my hair would never be done because I couldn't take off every single day and you know I can't just be taking long lunch breaks all the time get my hair done people would notice so again I am just brushing my hair out so that I can go in there and have her work her magic So I just texted her saying I am here. She got them rules, you know, it's COVID season. You gotta wear your mask the whole time. So let me get my mask out. I put my mask back because I was like, I'm done with this mask. I forgot you gotta have your mask on. Where is my dang old mask? Okay, so I got my mask. And when she texted me back and said I can come in, I will be in there. 
again i think that's why her books are so like condensed too is because she's not having multiple people in the shop at the same time not that she used to she did a, a really good job of not having you sit there and wait for hours to get your hair done so that's a good thing on tony beforehand but also she got to take time to sanitize in between her clients again wearing the mask the entire time so for three hours it's probably the longest that i'm gonna have to wear this this mask but i'll do it girl i'll do it because again i have not gotten my hair done professionally in 2020 and we're in December now. So uh, now I am back. My hair is laid, honey. This feels so right, honey. This feels so right. I mean, I love my crochet, but you will never, never not love your hair, honey. You love your hair. Um, so I told her to curl the ends. If I had done bone straight, though, child, the drop. But you know, she's gotta have a little curly, curly cues. Um, I stopped by Jenny's Ice Creams. I never have been there um, before. Oddly enough, I've never been to Jenny's Ice Cream. They have like three locations in Charlotte. I hear they're really good. I could smell the waffle cone because a Tony Salon is like right beside the uh, Jenny. So the vents so were like wafting me over. I was like, I need this. Um, but it is now five o'clock. It is 4.56, so uh, the day has gone a little different than I thought. I thought I was gonna be done maybe about two-ish, um, but you know, it's a process. And my hair, it takes a while to take color, kind of like that human hair crochet. If you saw that video, that hair did not want to take color. Um, so I told them I would pick up Winnie at about 5.30, so I really just need to leave and go pick her up. Typically what they do is if they get a bath in the day, so I've got Winnie a bath too, because I felt like if I'm gonna get my hair done, my girl gotta get her hair laid too. She does the daycare, and then they typically give a bath like right before, so they ask you when you're gonna pick them up so that they can do the bath and then not put them back in daycare if that makes sense so they probably will take her out like they probably took her out at like 4 45 so that they, she could be ready if i came anywhere between 5 and 5 30 to pick her up so that might make this a two-day vlog too because i felt like a lot of the footage is probably me getting my hair done um and that's not exciting that's not ex well i mean exciting for me because child feeling this so i'll probably take you tomorrow while i probably film some content as well Y'all, I forgot what five o'clock traffic was like. I really forgot what five o'clock traffic was like. And I never have gone this way. I'm typically, when I used to live in North Charlotte, would be on that side of things. A lot of people live in South Carolina and work in Charlotte. So the traffic going to South Carolina, Winnie's daycare is in South Carolina uh, because it's close to work, which was the kind of thought behind it was like, oh, if I have to go into the office like once a week, you know, it'd be good just to take her there. But it's real stop and slow and go. So I just got win-win from daycare. Smelling good, girl. You don't smell like dog anymore. You smell like lavender scents and everything. You don't recognize mommy? Cause mommy hair is straight and not crochet and a different color and all different. You want, or you wanna go back? You wanna go back daycare? So now I am back home. Hair has lost a little bit of body yaddy yaddy that I had in the car. So just in two hours, it then kind of got a little bit more like not not to say it's all gone but it's a little bit more straighter but i love it still oh my gosh i'm mean, like if you follow me on instagram at lila bunny now you saw everything in real time when you saw me i reveal it while i was in tony's seat so you vlog people are probably getting it a week later you're like i didn't know girl had did all that 
Instagram folks know ahead of time in my stories. So uh, this is it. Winnie is, you guys can hear her in the background. She's having a moment. You wanna be in the, you wanna be in the shot, Win? Okay, Win, Win, what's going on? You show him your little bath? She just got a bath, she didn't get like a trim or anything. She didn't really need it, still fall. She needs all the fur that she can get, but um, I'm gonna turn my treat on, you guys know. If you watch my decorate with me video tree is up all I gotta do to turn it on is say the magic word Alexa Merry Christmas and then that comes on and also the um, garland that's in this room comes on too and to turn this off and everything else I just say Alexa that Alexa picks it up good night and then everything's off. So yes, this I didn't show you guys the fit for the day. I just kind of had some, you know, regular the sweaters I had in my video that you guys should be seeing soon, or you should have already seen. I haven't edited it fully yet, but you guys will see it soon. I just got this sweater from Amazon. Win win. Say hey to the folks. You just traumatized. You had a long day, girl. I know you need a nap. They give them a nap between noon and two, so they get a two hour nap. But other than that, they be go go go. And I know she don't love that. Um, so what I'm about to do now is don't don't hate me y'all do not hate me I'm gonna turn on my work computer just to see what I missed today I know I'm technically off but I did see some stuff come in and I just want to make sure I'm on top of it like again not that you know I'd be working like I normally if I'm off I'm off I'm off but I just want to make sure that Monday I don't have any surprises so like putting any meetings down so that I know you know Monday I gotta be on it on it on it uh, cuz it's Friday but other than that I'm probably going to also make me some din din i made some salmon the other night and i'm just gonna eat that i was gonna stop on the way like from picking up winnie i was gonna get some fast food but no i was like leah you got food at the house you made salmon the other day you're gonna finish off your salmon so just salmon white rice black beans and yeah it's just got like obey I, i'm living loving just some simple obey but I'm just gonna warm this up and check my computer and then, yeah, we'll see what I get into next. So I just had to step away from the computer. I was like, it is now, it is 6.47 p.m. I didn't want to spend too much time on it because I was about to get wrapped up in some emails and child sending, please come in, come in. I was about to get wrapped up in some emails and I am at 6 p.m. on a Friday and I had today off. I should not be worried about none of this. It's the weekend officially and now I have to worry about work for Lee LeVon. So um, I have to content plan what I'm filming tomorrow. Although I know what I'm filming tomorrow, it's just a refilm. I already filmed this video. I just wanted to re-record it. I wasn't feeling, feeling my hair like that, like that in some of the shots and I've done that before. You guys just don't know how many times I have re-recorded something because I wasn't feeling my hair, my makeup, some form of myself. And I feel like I need to film some content with this hair. I feel like, I mean, I never wear my hair out and I can't like do a hair video because I didn't do this myself. I can't do a video like talking about my hair so I might as well just show it in a normal video. I might do a makeup video too, but Saturday is gonna be pretty busy for me. So I'll close out the vlog here. I'm just gonna edit tonight, just edit my videos for next week. Kind of get those in a place where I can post them or not post them, but upload them on YouTube so I can post them Monday and Wednesday of next week. Um, Winnie. So tomorrow I will probably take you through like filming again. I'll I have to go to the grocery store. I would have gone today, but again, I had to spend all day to get this luscious color. But I pre-knew that I was gonna be in the shop all day. I love Tony. I love Tony. So we can get to talking, we can be in there gabbing. You know, I originally booked for 12. She told me come even earlier because girl, when we gotta catch up, we gotta catch up. It's almost been a year, I think, since I've been to Tony. So um, that's why I had my big breakfast. That's why I knew my kiddo had to go to the doggy daycare today because she, mama had to get this thing done. And mama looking right, honey. But tomorrow when I film and have my makeup on, I'm gonna be looking right, right, honey. I'm gonna be looking right, right. Uh, just keep watching to see tomorrow, Saturday. 
Good morning, YouTube fam. It is Saturday, December 5th, the next day. 9 a.m., 9.03 a.m. I kind of slept in today. What I mean sleep in is I had an alarm set for 8, 15, um, and I just couldn't get up. It's so hard. I don't know why it's so hard. I went to bed pretty early last night for me, and it was just so hard to get up this morning, but um, I did take a shower last night. What I've been doing, even though I took one yesterday morning too, but what I've been doing is because they like savings time, I really cannot waste any sunlight. So it's like light outside, of course, now. It's been light since like 7. You guys know it gets dark. It's starting to get dark like 4.30-ish. Um, and you're probably like, well, you have till 4. You have total day to film. I have east-facing windows um, in my beauty room. I have west-facing windows in my bedroom. So, meaning it's super light in the mornings in my beauty room where I film. And in the morning, like 8 to like 1. And then it starts migrating over here. So, the sun starts moving. So, it's not that it's not a light over my beauty room it's just that the sun isn't there anymore so i have to maximize my time so all i'm gonna do right now is wash my face walk winnie walk winnie then wash my face then put on my makeup to film so i can get some content out so let's go Also, I'm gonna make a little bit of bacon so I have something on my literal stomach while I am filming. I'm not a bacon snob. I don't have to have a particular brand, but I need to have somebody's bacon. So I'm going to make me some good old bacon. It's 9.22. Oh my God, my oven. Today's a cleaning day too, if you guys should be aware. I have like some things all over the place. I need to take care of my beauty room on the other hand. I guess other than the clothes I just took off. Um, it's pretty pretty good. I have to set up my little area. Um, I just put on so the clothes I have on. I'm just wearing this jumpsuit today in today's video because it's one, comfortable for my life, and two, I don't think I've worn this in a video yet, but you guys only see the top up, so I think that's the thing I run into is like I'm running out of top up clothing, but um, this is perfectly fine but yeah today on the agenda filming cleaning and some grocery shopping so you'll see all that in today's vlog as well as intermittent winnie moments So this is the look, honey. Yes, bring it together. I'm loving it, I'm loving this. But let me get into my setup, you guys. Um, so this is my filming setup, as you guys probably always know. Um, I've been recently wanting to get closer to the window though. I tried it on two recent videos and the quality looked really, really good. So I'm like, should I get like closer to the window? Also, it gives me, I guess, optimal sun. Like I get the best sun because um, it's right here. So pulling everything a little bit closer. So this is my, I guess, stand. This is what's in front of me. This is kind of my makeshift studio now. I used to attach my mic to me. Um, but now I'm attaching it to uh, my tabletop, which I used to use for like dinners and stuff. Now I just use it for like props. If I have a lot of videos, I typically keep products. My first video that I'm filming today, natural hair video, isn't product heavy, so I don't have any products to hold up. Um, but I'm gonna bring my chair a little bit closer. Winnie, move out the way, ma. Move out the way. She got a sock today after do laundry, and Winnie's favorite thing is dirty laundry. So, uh -huh. she got a sock. Move, Win. Move, move, move. Um, 
so pulling my chair a little bit closer i'm typically closer to back there but moving it so it's a little bit closer up to here again gives me the sun gives me this gives me that and this and then a lot of people were saying recently too with my i guess it's the rasta free palm curls my most recent video that the hair is blending in with my monitors back there a little bit so it's harder for you guys to see like when i'm talking about frizz and tangles you can't see it as much because like the screens are already black and i didn't even think about that i mean that wasn't a problem I've ever had like at the stair house because there's nothing behind me nothing at my last place with the foyer because there's nothing behind me nothing I had an issue with for the first few months that I recorded here because again I wasn't working from home but I was like uh what can I do to alleviate that my monitors have to stay here and I have to film in this room and I have to film in an angle where it's like hitting this because I, I don't know this closet is just this isn't the cutest closet ever. So I think being kind of closer to is going to make it so that maybe you guys can see my hair a little bit better. And also now that it's colored, maybe we won't have that issue with it blending in with the screens as much if I try more colored hair. So let me know what you guys think of my newest kind of setup. It's more Christmas themed, of course, because we are in the holiday season. Uh, that will all change, but I like it. I like kind of the aesthetic. So I'm gonna get to filming my two videos today. I don't think the little one is gonna be able to sit beside me like she normally is she's at eight months now and eight months is their rebel stage where i think it's when they get six months they're really good they're like pre precious angels and then eight months is like wham i want to do everything i want to do so um the last video i filmed i think she had to be away for a majority of it especially if i'm talking a lot if i'm doing a lot of talking in a video like i can't control her and i don't want to start and stop hear a little bark so we'll see how she does you know the first few talks through but again she might have to go somewhere so i'm gonna get into filming my first video Okay, so I am done filming. It is 12.30. I filmed even another video that just came to me while I was sitting here. I don't know if I'll upload it or not. That was so impromptu. I don't like being scatterbrained in a video. So I might like refilm it later, like having the thoughts of what I did now. Sometimes I listen back to the playback of my audio. So like I record the sound of course of everything. So I listen back and I say, was I too scatterbrained if I was? Just take the key points of what I said and then refilm it in more of a streamlined focus. I know people are like, that takes up so much time, but it doesn't really. What took me 25 minutes to film that video, if it was a flop, you know we'll see i just when you're feeling your hair like i was feeling my hair i was like they gonna be some videos filmed today with this look now i have to take a couple more pictures for my thumbnail so i just sit here and then i take like snaps of me like you guys know you guys know the thumbs you've seen the nails you've seen the thumbs and the nails on my video so you know what i do so i typically still utilize it i still have great sun right now sun is doing well after that after i get my thumbnails together i will probably head to the store i'm gonna do a target i'm gonna do all harris teeter and i'm going to do a trader joe's run too wendy's over here tearing up one of my props from today's video um but yeah i'll just take you along on my day i'm feeling myself i feel like i you know this is the day i need to go out and be seen because there's rare that i feel like this but you know i'll put in my next crochet here and i'll probably feel myself a little bit more too so i'll clean after i make my store runs winnie is feeling pretty you know lovey-dovey right now which i love it but um she's gonna be alone for a little bit while i make my run she don't know it yet but it's a coming you guys will see that coming up next
So now I am back. I just got done eating. I went to Target and Harris Teeter. I did not go to Trader Joe's because I realized I went to Trader Joe's Tuesday of this week. I literally went already this week. My Trader Joe's is kind of small too. They ain't got nothing new that I need. I would have been just going in there looking. And I also wanted to get a flower from there as well. But then I realized Harris Teeter has flowers. So I got a little hydrangea from Harris Teeter. So didn't need to go there. All I got when I went to Trader Joe's this week too was like I got some of this chili seasoning because I was like, oh, I want to make chili. And then I got some habanero, Trader Joe's habanero hot sauce the other day when I went to. I'm a hot sauce fiend. I normally am a Texas Pete girl, but I will step out on a limb for something new. But I'll just show you. I got quite a lot. I put some of the cold stuff in the fridge because I ate my Chick-fil-A uh, before and I was like, the cold stuff got to go in the fridge. But I'll show you what I got in the fridge um, first. So I got some almond milk. So simply i saw some videos going around about this being the best almond milk ever so i got the simply almond almond milk and then i got my simply orange i love simply orange that's my favorite orange juice of life regardless so i have to love the simply almond don't i am i am i not i always love simply lemonade too um it's my lemonade of choice so i got that i got two of each of those and then I also got another of the Simply, um, but I got the vanilla flavored. So I got the unsweetened and the sweetened just to see if I like one over the other. Like I saw some people like the vanilla, but I feel like it might be too sweet. Like it might be like this is a like a sweet beverage that I won't want to put in like my cereals and, and oatmeal and stuff. And maybe this is like more cereal oatmeal based type of a product but we'll see we'll see which one I like again though I got two of the simply lemonades I'm not gonna take them out of the fridge and two of the simply oranges so my fridge is a basic you know simply fridge right now um I also got I also got some rotisserie turkey I talked about this in I think one of my other videos about how I get not rotisserie turkey this is cracked pepper black turkey deli turkey that i get from the store a lot of you guys said instead of getting you know, i get this for winnie i talked about this um i get this solely for winnie i mean i could eat it too but um i like my my turkey a little bit more thinly sliced than what the oscar meyer can provide but some of you told me to get um, her rotisserie chicken um because you were like this is high in sodium get her a rotisserie chicken it's a little bit cheaper which rotisserie chickens are pretty cheap you can eat it and all that so i did it twice two times i tried Tried to get her rotisserie chicken the first time she it was a not a good night that night i got up probably every two hours to take her out it was not a pretty sight but no accidents in this house it just wasn't a i was making sure because i had to go outside several times but i was like okay i read somewhere i was like maybe it was because i left the skin on i should have taken the skin off my bad so i got it a second time took the skin off got it plain i didn't even get the rotisserie chicken with the flavor i got the plain told her stomach up again so i was like mm, it's not right for her and i had a dog in the past who i used to do rotisserie chicken for so when you guys throw up threw out that idea at me in my last i think video you i was like yeah you're right rotisserie chicken fluffy my old dog loved it i have a friend whose dog that's all her dad feeds their dog is rotisserie chickens he doesn't even eat regular dog food he just goes to the store tears up a rotisserie chicken and, and feeds it freezes it repeats the process all that but Winnie's stomach I don't know what it is so have to go back to the deli fresh I don't feed her a lot though I don't know if y'all think I'm feeding her like a whole sandwich meat I know it's high in sodium it's probably not even good for us humans but for her small quantities it just helps her get the process started when she's eating like if I take her to daycare she doesn't know that she's going to daycare so I need to put something on her stomach because she won't I'll be like eat Winnie she'll be like well why because I'm gonna be here all day she don't know that you know you're not gonna be here all day so again got her um some of that got me some more bacon I realized this morning I was running low on bacon and then I also got some beef sirloin tips I don't know why I was in a steak tips mood recently but I was like I'll cook that one day this week as well as salmon I always get me a fresh salmon filet when I go to here, I, I love the Alaskan socket fillet. Those are my favorite wild caught fillets out here. I love me some salmon. That is my go-to. You saw that yesterday. You saw last night. I had salmon. So we're going to repeat the process of some meal prep and salmon this week. But I'm going to throw in a day of steak tips as well. I also got me some Coca-Cola vanillas. These are my favorite 
soda. I don't know what happened, but for a lot of the quarantine, I couldn't find this anywhere. It was gone from almost about, I'd say April or May is when I last saw it in stores. It came back last month, at least in my stores near me. Harris Cedar had, had it missing for so long. Came back my last shopping trip two weeks ago. And I was like, oh yes. Get my vanilla Cokes back. I love vanilla Coke from Target. I got some pillows. I was realizing some of my pillows in my room are just too, they've gotten really squished and they were the cheap, you know, the cheap $2.99 pillows from Target, which is room essentials pillows, nothing wrong with it. But I find that they go flat, like after a while they just don't hold up the way, you know, a more expensive. So these pillows were $10.99 and I was like, they're a little bit more expensive, but I need something uh, a little bit more firm too. Like I got the extra firm pillow. I talk about in my videos how like I don't need a soft cushiony pillow i do not like laying my head on like a, a cloud of marshmallow i don't like that i like firm so this was like extra firm and i was like i might like this pillow so again got me some pillows gonna swap them out when i do my cleaning today i also got quite a few uh, christmas bags i got some christmas presents rolling in i pretty much am done christmas shopping i think i have one more thing to get for my mom um and that's it like you'll see my tree when i take you around through my cleaning i get a little bit of presents trickling in piece by piece day by day one day at a time new presents are coming in once i have them all i'm gonna you know wrap them up get them started so i needed some bag i am not a wrapping person i am a gift bag person you getting a gift bag from me i don't care how big the package is they make bags big enough for whatever you get so i got a few other things but it's not even worth mentioning it's just like disinfecting wipes i got the makeup remover wipes just generic so i'm just gonna put all this stuff away it is now 3 40 p.m i'm making good progress today we still got some daylight and when you have the daylight you still feel high energy so i still feel good enough to clean um again my family's coming tomorrow and my home isn't like a disaster pit i keep it a moderate level of cleanliness but again i want them to see my home in the holidays i invited them over to see my holiday home and i need to make it uh you know jazzy it up a little bit so i'll take you guys along on that journey and i will take winnie out for her afternoon walk so i'll see you guys soon So I just got done uh, cleaning up and walking Winnie. It is six o'clock tonight. And this is where I'm gonna sign the vlog off because this is gonna be a normal night. I got some clothes going in the washer machine. Gotta fold them, gotta do some laundry. And yeah, I'm just gonna prep for tomorrow's video because I am filming again tomorrow. All December, it's nonstop filming the entire weekend. So every weekend of this month, I don't have a weekend off, unfortunately. So I'll be doing that tomorrow. I think it's just gonna be a makeup thing i haven't done a makeup thing in so long but um i can't probably talking super loud because these are so noise canceling but i just wanted to sign off today's video i hope you guys enjoyed the vlog if you did give it a big thumbs up even if you didn't you know the deal still give it a big thumbs up it gives me warm and fuzzies on the inside when you do that make sure that you guys are subscribed to my channel i don't know how you watch a vlog i think people who watch my vlogs are subscribed but if you are not for some odd reason click that subscribe button Make sure you follow me on Instagram at leobon89 because again, you guys see stuff in real time. You see stuff late, they see stuff in real time. So follow me there and follow my stories there as well. And I will see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.